Welcome to the 13th part of the Waterlast Sailing Canoe Building Series. Do you need something? Let's build it! Today from a little bit different perspective because I have to tell you something. I know in the last video I said in this video I was going to show you the boat sailing and that's originally what I wanted to do but um, there happened a few things. So the first thing I obviously did and I did do that is bring the boat uh, to the lake. So I had to switch cars, took my paper jet into my garage, then switched the boats, took the water lost onto the trailer and then I was off to the lake. Not a single cloud, but it's starting to rain. Okay. A few moments later. One eternity later. Just temporarily paper, a little bit of plastic, double-sided tape. Here I am at the lake. Boat is looking fine, everything's nice. I forgot to bring a paddle, so I hope the wind doesn't die. Otherwise I will be stuck on the lake, but I guess I can swim, that's fine. So there I was on the lake, everything so far so good, uh, until I noticed... I forgot my GoPro, so I cannot film on the water because I'm stupid. At that moment I plan to just take my normal camera with me on the boat. So I ate my lunch and I continued rigging up the boat. The other idea was until the wind picked up quite a bit and I just didn't feel confident anymore to take my not watertight camera with me on the boat, a boat that I or nobody ever sailed before. So I'm going to try to film from land with this camera, I'm alone up here so I don't know, maybe, maybe not, maybe I'll just attach some GoPro footage of next week's sailing. But that just never happened. So I was, I was on the lake. Uh, a few more times but always with friends and I just didn't want to be the strange guy that's walking around with his camera and just sucking everybody with his YouTube thing. I also wasn't that often on the lake uh, as I wish I had been because I was quite busy. I was away for a few weeks uh, in holidays. After that I started my job at a local TV station where I work now full-time basically so I have less time for hobbies like sailing and boat building and I just never managed to bring my GoPro when I was sailing. That's it. Now we have blue algaes in the lake so sailing is basically over for the season I think and I'm actually thinking about getting the boat back home without ever having had the GoPro on it. I'm 
very sorry for that for all of you that wanted to see the boat sail i wish i had some footage that i can show you i have a few pictures i took the first day with my phone there they are the boat was really nice uh, there was a lot of wind the moment when I first launched. Uh, I had full sail plan on and I was happy when I was back on a pontoon uh, without capsizing because I wanted to stay dry that day. So I took away the, the mizzen mast and uh, reefed the sail quite a bit. Uh, with one reef it was nice to sail in even high winds. I played around a little bit with the settings but more on that I guess next year um, when I got the boat again back to the lake. Yeah, so that's it for this year's Waddle Sailing Canoe Building series, I guess. Um, very sorry that I don't have footage, but it is like it is, I always say. Uh, thanks for watching anyways, and I will see you when the winter's over or when I have winter projects. Maybe I'm going to fit the Hubi Mirage Drive during the winter, who knows. But see you then.